How do you do, everyone? We're very pleased to have the honor of taking you on a film tour of the city of Kitchener. In this film, you'll see its industry, its people, its homes, its recreation. You'll see the very lifeblood of this great, fast-growing Canadian city. Those of you who may not be familiar with its location, Kitchener is situated smack in the center of southwestern Ontario. Toronto is about 70 miles east, London 68 miles west, and Buffalo, New York, the closest American port of entry, about 90 miles southeast. Now, if you're ready, let's go on our film tour of the industrial city of Kitchener. From a transportation angle, Kitchener is on a crisscross of provincial highways 5, 7, 8, and 85. The city is also served by Canada's two leading railways, the Canadian National and Canadian Pacific, and the major airport five miles from the city limits. 19% of Canada's population reside within a 100-mile radius of Kitchener. Let's follow Vic McKenty in the city's Industrial Commission car on a tour of industries and business establishments. First, we'll wend our way downtown through the heart of this bustling city. Modern stores line both sides of King Street. The city boasts a very fine transit system. Electric trolley coaches operate east and west on the main street. The complex network of crosstown buses offers convenient transportation to all corners of the city. While we're downtown, let's drop into one of the stores for a short visit. This is Gowdy's Department Store, one of the city's most popular family shopping centers young bride-to-be, filled with dreams of a lovely Kitchener bungalow, picks out a gown for the biggest day in her life. Manufacturers of rubber products leads the list of Kitchener's industries. Here's the tire division of Dominion Rubber, one of four plants in Kitchener owned by this company. Rubber tires and tubes for all types of vehicles are manufactured at this plant. VF Goodrich, one of the large plants, manufactures tires, rubber industrial products, tire hose, and coro steel products. One of the city's newest plants, the Foam Rubber Division of Dominion Rubber Company Limited. This modern operation went into production of foam rubber in late 1956. Dominion Electrohome has gained wide prominence in Canada with radios, TV sets, appliances, air conditioners, motors, electric fans, and deal craft furniture. The famous Aero shirts are made at this plant of Cluet Peabody, as well as ties, pajamas, sports shirts, handkerchiefs, and underwear. Schneider's Little Dutch Girl is the familiar symbol of one of the country's leading meat packers, J.M. Schneider Limited. And for the sweet tooth, the famous smiles and chuckles candies are made in this spotless modern plant. Everything from attractive boxes of chocolates for special occasions to a wide variety of bars you'll find on every confectioner's counter. Recreation plays a great role in any successful city, and with Kitchener's great family atmosphere, Victoria Park, located in the heart of the city, provides a beautiful spot for relaxation, with its acres of rolling green lawns, colorful gardens, and restful lakes. And there's plenty of room for the youngsters to enjoy the excitement of playing on the swings and slides. In the winter, Victoria Park Lake offers hours of skating pleasure to the young and old alike. Chicopee Ski Club, complete with toes, jumps, winding trails, and fast downhill slopes, beckons skiers from even distant points to this leading ski club. It's located just outside the city limits. 
Here's Marsland Engineering's modern plant for radio components, speakers, tuning condensers, resistors, fine tooling jigs and fixtures for radios are manufactured. And who in Canada doesn't know the name L. McBride Company as the leading name in luggage? At this Kitchener plant, all types of trunks and travel goods are made. One of Canada's largest meatpacking names, Burns & Company, have their eastern headquarters in Kitchener, in which they serve the eastern half of the nation. With Kitchener being the hub of Canada's furniture industry, it's not a surprise to find a large veneer plant. This is panel veneer, where huge logs are made into all forms of veneer. Kitchener also has its big name in trucks, with this four-wheel drive plant, where trucks and motor toboggans are manufactured. Soon twines, where jute, flax, hemp, and sisal yarns, twines, and cordage are made. Soon twines are the only processes of jute and hemp in Canada. Kitchener is also the home of one of the famous name breweries. This is the modern Dow Kings beer plant. An industrial city like Kitchener requires outstanding construction firms to keep pace with modern building trends in today's factories, offices, and schools. Ball Brothers have erected many of the city's large buildings. This is the new Eastwood Collegiate, completed in 1956. When the summer's heat slows you down at your desk, there are two 18-hole golf courses and a 9-hole course to help you take your mind off matters. This is the Rockway Club. Regardless of what type of game you play, you'll find good company. This course turned out such leading names in golf as Jerry Kesselring and Mo Norman. Then there are those who don't worry too much about their form. Adjacent to the Rockway course are the beautiful Rockway Gardens, designed and maintained by a tireless horticultural society. Kitchener's other 18-hole golf course is the Westmount Golf and Country Club. This club has played host to several provincial and dominion title tournaments. The Canadian Blower and Forge. Here, heating and ventilating equipment, forges, drilling machines, industrial pumps, unit heaters, exhaust fans, air washers, and dust collectors are manufactured. Reb Shoe Company Limited, manufacturers of shoes and men's and boys' staple leather footwear. Kitchener is also one of Canada's leading tanning centers. At this John A. Lang plant, glove and garment leathers are tanned. At this Ardelt Industries operation, cranes and heavy material moving equipment are built. The fertile farms of Waterloo County supply fresh milk daily to the city's dairies, such as Silverwoods, who not only deliver milk, cream, butter, and eggs directly to the consumer, but also supply ice cream products to the retail outlets. At this wild blower plant, blowers for domestic furnaces are made. H. Krug Furniture manufactures office chairs and several lines of household furniture. Canada's biggest name in baked goods, Weston, supplies bread, cakes, and sweet goods to all parts of Western Ontario from this modern Kitchener operation. In 
the center of the city stands our chief administrative building, the city hall with its large solid gray pillars. In the square in front of the city hall stands the cenotaph, Kitchener's memorial to sons who gave their lives in the two world conflicts. Kitchener, known as the industrial city, is also known across the nation for its market. People will come from as far away as Toronto buy fruit, vegetables, and meat brought to this marketplace by the farmers of Waterloo County. Justice is administered through the courthouse. The Memorial Auditorium offers family entertainment all year round, from opera to ice hockey, and in summer, a dip in the large tank at the municipal swimming pool. This is the Indiana Steel Plant. Here, stainless steel and alloys are turned out. The Warren Paving Company maintains Kitchener's reputation for fine roads and streets. Here's the Kingsway Transport Warehouse. To deliver the industrial city's products to the markets of the world, 27 transports operate in and out of Kitchener. Metal aircraft parts and precision equipment manufactured at the Keisher Engineering. Sail Engineering manufactures tools, dies, metal stampings, woodcutters, special machinery, and automobile trim molding. Duffus Plywood, distributors of all types of plywood. This is one of the most modern warehouses in the district. The Dare Company, one of the largest manufacturers of biscuits in Canada. Kitchener has 51 churches representing 26 denominations of faith. The city's children learn their three R's, higher education as well, in the 26 schools and colleges within its boundaries. Kitchener, a city of industry, is also a city of homes. 88.98% of its residents own the homes in which they live. The city is served by two hospitals. Pullman Brothers, distributors of air compressors, rock drills, pneumatic tools, air pumps, mining, contracting, and industrial equipment. Styrofoam products used in display advertising and as insulation are made by Morval Products. W.R. Elliott Limited manufactures precision machinery. This large plant of General Spring products manufacture automobile seats and back springs. A daily newspaper, the KW Record, serves the district with a circulation of 32,500. And the city boasts one of Canada's leading independent TV stations, CKCO-TV, serving over a quarter million homes in central and western Ontario. We hope you've enjoyed this film tour of the industrial city of Kitchener. If you like further information, write the Industrial Commissioner, Kitchener, Ontario, Canada.